Charlotte from Wild Arkansas. Today we're going to be talking about wintergrass or yellow rock hair. The scientific name is Barbarea vulgaris. The plant was introduced to North America right around 1800 and most experts believe it is Mediterranean in origin. It's listed as an invasive species that foragers consider it a winter staple. Wintercrest can be cooked as a veggie, like spinach, used in salad, or eaten raw. But I find that when I eat it raw, it's really, really bitter. Uh, now, if you search for wintercrest on the internet, you'll find several sources that repeat each other saying that eating wintercrest causes kidney malfunction. This warning cannot be substantiated. Uh, there are no studies or an original source for this claim. Um, I'm going to read a quote from John Callis' book, Wild Edible Plants from Dirt to Clay. He says, I believe wintercress to be a good food. If you search the internet, however, you will find the following warning. Wintercress could cause kidney malfunction. He goes on to say uh, that through his research, including contacting Dr. James Dew, uh, he could never find an original source and there were no recorded instances of people suffering from kidney failure or malfunction after eating wintercress. So I don't think I take that one too seriously. Uh, though if you do have kidney problems, you might not want to eat it. Um, let's go take a look at the plant. Basil rosettes of varying size with shining dark leaves. Um, wintercress can grow up to two feet in height. And the basal leaves are stalked with a large lobe at the tip and smaller lower lobes. The lobes are ovate in shape and range in size from a quarter inch on lower lobes to two and a half inches across on the tip. The flowers are bright yellow and look like mustard, probably because they're cousins. So we're here in the kitchen and right now we're removing some of the stems from the from the greens and I'm going to chop some of this up. Now I've heard some people call this creasy greens when you uh, saute it. I don't know. Well, fry it. A lot of people like to fry it. but. Um, I'm going to put it in some hot oil, and then we're going to um, let it sit for a few minutes in the hot oil, and salt and pepper it with a little bit of garlic, and then it's going to turn into something really, really good to eat. So, and this is a great source of a and C vitamins, and in a couple of books it actually said it had uh, some B vitamins in it. Um, I don't know if that's true or not, I'd have to find that in an additional source. Okay, here we go. And that's garlic salt. And that's pepper. And let's see. What you have is a product that looks something like spinach when it's cooked. 
so. Hmm. Okay. Not too bad. Um, the bitterness is gone. But it tastes like just a regular green. It's not spinach. Definitely not spinach. But it's okay. And I think if you added other greens to it, it would probably be better. So, thank you. And we'll see you next time on Wild Arkansas.